Vice President Mike Pence came and went from Colorado this summer, leaving law enforcement in Aspen upset about the unpaid expenses surrounding his private fundraiser there. And then a baseball executive stepped in to pinch hit. Our Marshall Zellinger dug into open records to find the story. It's common for local law enforcement to help Secret Service protect the president or, as we saw in Aspen in July, the vice president. What's not so common is how this security tab got paid to Pitkin County and Sheriff Joe DeSalvo. We got paid uh, in two checks from two donors that preferred to be anonymous. But through an open records request I made, they're no longer anonymous. Mark Horace Love and Earl Kendrick split the $18,000 bill for Pence Security. By the way, Kendrick is the managing partner of the Arizona Diamondbacks. $6,187.50 of that bill was for the time DeSalvo's deputies spent while Pence attended a five-figure private fundraiser. I understand a lot of people may think Aspen has money to burn. They're wrong. Uh, so $18,000 to my constituents. I think is a lot of money and I think they deserve uh, to be reimbursed. There's no requirement that anyone reimburse local law enforcement, but it would generally come from the party's host or the candidate's campaign. But since it was paid directly to Pitkin County, there's no paper trail, like the one that exists that shows Kendrick contributing to Senator Cory Gardner's re-election campaign or his contribution to former Congressman Mike Kaufman's campaign last year. The Federal Elections Commission does not have a policy about what happened in Aspen. And just before that stop, Pence landed in Windsor for a a private fundraiser benefiting Gardner's re-election. There, the vice president stopped to shake hands and also talk with reporters. We're going to be campaigning hard for our re-election in 2020. DeSalvo said had Pence done something public like that in Aspen, he would not have charged for the security. Weld County Sheriff Steve Reams told me back in July he would never charge for a visit like this because he was asked by Secret Service for the help. The question, though, is about transparency. Forget what political party you support, because clearly there will be a slant, whether it's from Weld County or from Pitkin County. The idea is, are we getting what we expect from our taxpayer money, and should it be going to certain things? That's what it comes down to. And if I can't find that, if I have to do an open records request, you certainly can't find it at home or don't know that you should file an open records request. There should be a paper trail anybody can track down. In this business about like somebody did the sheriff or any any elected official a solid by cutting them a fact check, but we don't get to know who it is. It's a big secret. Yeah, I'm glad you went digging for this one, Marshall. Thank you.